Now, with more startups sprouting, a growing number of firms are turning to crowdsourcing for, for a generation of ideas and crowdfunding for capital. Industry observers say this helps to create innovation and is a good way for startups to raise funds, especially in the early stages. Akshok Girdadas reports. In a hyper-connected cyber world, both the private and public sector are seeking to leverage the connectivity to engage with the crowd to improve efficiency, growth and innovation. Earlier this month, innovators and business leaders from across the world gathered at the Crowdsourcing Week Global Conference to discuss the best practices of crowdsourcing and crowdfunding. You've got to understand what crowdsourcing is. Crowdsourcing, it is not an industry and it's not a technology. It's a mindset. It is a practice that you can apply it across many different industries and many different uh, sectors. So I think this is to begin with. And then second, of course, that's why we do crowdsourcing week. We want to really engage the public and private sector with also the startup entrepreneur and also the mindset at large. Crowdfunding and crowdsourcing are giving startups the muscles to create innovations. Singaporean entrepreneur Nick Yap, who has spent a decade overseas, is testimony to this. He raised 220,000 US dollars through crowdfunding platform Kickstarter in 25 days. His device named Rocky enables you to sync your music to all your devices using Wi-Fi. Generally the idea is to pitch it to people. Uh, Tom, Dick and Harry, the crowd, everybody, every individual can decide whether they like your idea or not, your product or not. Of course you have to explain how you're going to do this. So your job is to convince the people quite a democratic process actually, convince the people that your product is good, they want it, and if they like it, they support you. Leading experts on equity-based crowdfunding investments believe that despite the abundance of venture capitalists and angel investors in Singapore, crowdfunding is the best mechanism for startups to raise funds in early stages. Well, often at, at an earlier stage, it's difficult for VCs and angels and that to actually have the belief that it's something worth investing in because maybe they've got no sales, they've got, uh, they're still at the research stage or whatever. So at that stage, you need people sort of near and dear to the company or around the company who are passionate to be the ones that invest. So through an equity crowdfunding raise, you gather people around that are passionate about it and they contribute money to the projects. However, no opportunity comes without the possibility of a threat. With exposure to thousands, even millions, industry experts warn that issues pertaining to intellectual property rights and patent rights may arise.